Now I'm here with Dundalk FC Sporting Director Jim Magilton ahead of the game against Waterford at the weekend. Jim, great to get the first win of the season against Strata, especially in the Loud Derby. It really was. Uh, a lot of pressure on us, a lot of pressure put on the players by ourselves. And uh, yeah, we won the game. Uh, Probably wasn't the prettiest win we've had. Uh, we had really good spells in the game, but no delighted. And obviously now nah, it's building on that. And the, the man standing over to the right of us here, Wilfred Zahibo, had a, had a good impact. I know he put a lovely cross-field ball across in yeah. the build-up to David McMillan's goal as well. So uh, a goal for Han as well. So are the new players starting to find their feet? Yeah, it's still early days for a lot of them. You know, they're still adjusting to the league. Wilfred in particular, you know, he hadn't played competitively since November. He actually, you know, and he, and he had COVID. And, you know, so we don't know what that you know how that impacts on the body but uh, the more minutes he gets the better he will become and we know that he'll be a big asset for the football club and again has shown you know really really great flashes of of uh, his ability and again his application every day in training has been first class so we felt he deserved to play and he rewarded us with a top class performance and uh, I assume you'll be in the dugout for this game at the weekend as well yeah the, the, you know for the foreseeable future you know we're does that include the Longford game as well on Monday then yeah yeah yeah, yeah so you know we're we're, we're we're in a rush but not a rush you know we want to make sure we get the right person in place um, I suppose that leads me to my next question how is the recruitment process coming along at the moment yeah it's all ongoing uh, you know there's there there are lots of people who are interested in the job uh, and you can't blame them so we got to take our time, we got to make sure we get the right one. And look, a lot of Dundalk fans are kind of commenting on the impact maybe you've had since you've taken sessions. I'm sure you're delighted to hear that, but is there any interest in your end on, on taking this job? Are you here for the long haul in terms of your sporting director? I'm uh, role? here for the long haul. And again, you know, I'm a multitasker, have been, you know, for the last number of years. And as I'm quite happy to step into the, into the position. Uh, and I'll be quite happy to step out of it. Uh, but no, it's a case of making sure that, you know, stability, consistency, you know, performances uh, are are the most important thing. And as I said, and I will consistently say, I've got a great background team uh, on both aspects. And, I'm, you know, without their help and support, you know, this, this would be very difficult. But at the moment, you know, it's, uh, it is a case of, you know, all hands to the pump, but no panic. And just going back to the, the management search at the moment, I suppose there was a big criticism, maybe the last set of coaches didn't have an understanding of the league. Is that um, a criteria that will be required for a new manager or does the fact you've got so many players in the team, with all due respect, who don't understand the league, they're, in, they're international players, um, does it make it not as important maybe as other years? Uh, I, think, I think just the right person, do you know what I mean, and the right candidate. I think if you're a coach now, you know, it, you, and, and you hold a pro license, you can coach anywhere in the world. Mm. So, you know, I, th I think what is important for us is the right fit. And I think the right character, the right personality, uh, which, listen, Philippe will had in abundance. Do you know, and Philippe will get a great job mm. here. So, and, and she and Keegan was a fantastic support for all of that too. So I think it's just now that we're in this position, we've just got to weigh everything up and keep our options very much open and hopefully get the right one. And you said yourself there a couple of moments ago, you've, you're working with a really good coaching team at the minute, but if a new man comes in, will he have the opportunity to bring his own men in or will he have to work with what's here? Again, that will be open to uh, suggestions. It will be open to conversation that we have with that person. Normally they bring someone with them, don't they? You know, mm. uh, And I've seen in the past where there have been huge names go into football clubs without bringing anyone with them. Mm. Carlo Ancelotti, for example, went into Chelsea, didn't bring anyone with him and dealt with the people that were there. So again, I, I think it, it comes down to the person, his personality and character. And again, um, we're establishing our coaching group, as we've said, I said very openly, uh, I think it felt like years back, but a few months back, where you know, we're trying to build a structure here for the club moving forward. And uh, in terms of team news going into this game against Waterford, yeah. any knocks or niggles to report? Uh, yeah, Andy Boyle started training this week, but he, he should be fine. Uh, we're just protecting him. Uh, one or two niggles, but he should be he should be fit and well, ready for uh, Waterford and for Longford. Yeah, as I said, two games coming up: uh, Waterford, Longford, Waterford. Uh, I know they beat Longford at the weekend, yeah. but wasn't the best game. I was actually at that one, and uh, Longford are struggling at the moment too. So. For Dundalk now, you've got your first win against Strada. You, you could start going on a run now, and all of a sudden, despite all the criticism, all the talk, you could look in a couple of weeks, Dundalk could be right up in the mix. 
Well, that's the plan, and that's, again, the pressures these boys have played under for a lot of years. They're not particularly used to playing and being where they are, so it's a new experience for them. But there are no excuses. You know, every, every team that we play against have their strengths. We've got to find their weaknesses and really, you know, bring our A game. You know, I, I, I still think we've gears to go. And I suppose there, there is no real margin for error now. No, there isn't, and we've got to win games. You know, some of Rovers and Pats have been so consistent. We've given them all a head start. It's up to us now to win football matches and, you know, given what's happened this week, training, uh, the atmosphere within the camp, the confidence is slowly but surely returning. But that, that all, you know, that all has to happen on a Saturday and kick off and winning games. It's as simple as that. And uh, we've certainly got the players. Now it's a case of can we uh, produce uh, winning performances. Jim, thanks very much. Pleasure.